G'day ladies and gents. The question I pose is, can you stick weld stainless steel exhaust systems? TIG welding does a beautiful job, but there's the extra cost of the machine, the gas, and the gas line to purge the exhaust system. And I don't have a MIG welder, and again, it's good to purge the system with a MIG welder. But I've spent many years welding stainless steel pipe for large applications and a stick welder does a great job. So here we go, I have a 2 inch 304 stainless steel tube exhaust system here. I'm using a 316L stainless steel rod, mainly because it's got lots of nickel in it which makes it flow nice and easily and I have my stick welder set at 20 amps. This is as low as my stick welder will go and it is a little difficult to start the arc but it definitely does not burn through the pipe if you move your rod quickly enough and don't overheat the tube. I'm simply doing a dab weld every 3 millimeters or so with an overlap making sure not to overheat the tube and melt a hole in it. Stainless steel work hardens. This means the more you heat it, the harder the steel gets. Whilst that might not sound like a bad thing, it does mean that if it gets too hard, it will be brittle and prone to cracking. So in this instance, less is more. Don't put too much weld on if it's not required. Simply seal up the pipe and move on to the next union. So as you can see, we have a nice even finish all the way around. It's definitely not as pretty as TIG welding. It is however faster and more cost effective. And as you can see, there is very little intrusion into the inside of the pipe where the weld joined the two pieces together. So if you've got a piece of pipe that you have either poorly aligned or blown a bit of a hole in, I like to use a bit of stainless steel TIG wire or MIG wire to bridge the gap. This allows me to fill the hole in or the crack without causing too much intrusion within the pipe. Again, I'm simply running at 20 amps and while it can be a little difficult to maintain an arc, once you get the hang of it, it will move quite smoothly. Once again, you can see that the finish is not too bad and there is very little to no intrusion within the pipe section. There will be a quick list of all of the products I use to make this exhaust system in the description below if you want to check out my Amazon affiliate links. This is my finished system on my old Datsun pickup. If you'd like to see more content of this vehicle, please subscribe to Build, Grow, Play and we'll see you in the next video.